So what are the recommendations from the American Academy of Pediatrics for young children drinking 100% fruit juice? Is fruit juice bad for toddlers? You hear about vitamin C and vitamin A and maybe even calcium and vitamin D, but you also hear about sugar. And so today in this video, I am breaking down juice for toddlers and whether fruit juice is bad for toddlers or actually has some benefits for toddlers. I am covering the latest recommendations on juice for toddlers, plus giving you some tips for how to keep juice in its rightful place in your toddler's diet. So let's talk about juice first. What is it? So you have 100% fruit juice, you have fruit drinks, fruit beverages, and all kinds of other sort of fruit cocktails out there that all look good, they're different flavors, they certainly taste good, and many toddlers have had juice be introduced to them very early in life. When we talk about fruit juice, I am talking about 100% fruit juice. Why? Because it doesn't have any added sugar in it. Now, fruit drinks, fruit beverages, and fruit cocktails oftentimes do have added sugar in them. And they may also have added colors to them, um, and they might be fortified with extra nutrients as well. Now, 100% fruit juice is naturally sweet. That's because there is a natural sugar there that is called fructose. So you've probably heard of sucrose or raw sugar. Fructose is the natural sugar found in fruit juice. It's not the same as the white table sugar that you see uh, in the grocery store or in cookies and candy and things like that. But fructose, the natural fruit sugar, is a concentrated form of sugar and it is very sweet. The other thing you need to know about 100% fruit juice is that oftentimes in the process of making juice, we squeeze out the pulp and remove that source of fiber. So juice is really the liquid form of the fruit uh, with the fiber that whole fruit contains removed. So let's take, for example, orange juice. Orange juice, when you squeeze it, you just get the juice and you get the pulp and the skin um, and the fibrous material inside the segments of orange, that gets left behind. That's where all the fiber is. So fruit juice is still got the sugar, it still have the, has the nutrients, but it does not have the fiber. Of course, fruit juice is also a source of hydration. It's a source of water because with all that uh, fructose or fruit sugar comes water. And so oftentimes, even like way, way back, 20, 30, 40 years ago, uh, it was recommended that young toddlers and babies were to be introduced to fruit juice early because it was a source of hydration. We now don't use that as a rationale for introducing fruit juice to young children, uh, but juice is a source of hydration for young children. And then again, as I mentioned earlier, you have the nutrients that you will find in juice. Vitamin C is a big one and uh, vitamin C is helpful for healing and it helps and boosts immunity. So it can help with the common cold in the winter time. Um, it also is a source of vitamin A. And as I mentioned, uh, if you get fruit juice with the pulp in it, like orange juice with its natural pulp, you will get some source of fiber there. Today, uh, many, uh, especially orange juice, but many fruit juices will fortify the nutrients. They'll add a little bit more calcium or they will add vitamin D. So those can be a, a very good source of calcium and vitamin D. I know when my kids were smaller, I used to buy the calcium fortified orange juice for them. And then later uh, it was calcium and vitamin D fortified. I, I liked and appreciated that nutrient boost 
uh, in orange juice. So that option is out there. It can be super helpful if you have a child who is allergic to milk or who does not drink milk and is not getting that source of calcium and vitamin D, juice can step in and be a, an additional source of those nutrients for a young child. So what are the recommendations from the American Academy of Pediatrics for young children drinking 100% fruit juice? Well, for children under one, for babies, no fruit juice is recommended. So the re recommendation is not to introduce any fruit juice to your baby. For young toddlers ages one to three, those kiddos can have up to four ounces of 100% fruit juice for the day. And for those children who are four, to six years of age, they can have up to four to six ounces of 100% fruit juice per day. So you can see the recommendations aren't to completely cut out fruit juice, only for those kids under a year of age, but to very much limit it throughout the day. So it is not something you want to be giving to your toddler at every meal and at snack time. It is something that if you are giving to your toddler, you're probably giving it once a day, or you might split that four ounces into two ounces and two ounces and add some water to that to cut it. But you really do want to limit how much fruit juice your child, your toddler is consuming. So the drawbacks of consuming too much juice are an increased risk of cavities. Again, remember I told you that fructose, that fruit sugar can coat the teeth, especially if you are giving a bottle of juice at night or a sippy cup of juice when your toddler goes to bed, that sugary liquid just sits on their teeth and can cause cavities. The other thing that can happen if toddlers drink a lot of juice is that they can gain some extra body fat. Uh, this happens because, again, fruit juice can be a source of extra calories uh, in the diet. And so, again, it's important to know those limits that I just mentioned. No fruit juice for kids under one. For kids one to three, four ounces max a day. And for children four to six, four to six ounces maximum per day. That helps prevent caries or dental cavities, and it also helps prevent unwanted or excess weight gain. So let's talk about some practical tips because kids drink juice, and if you have a child who's drinking juice or you have a young child and you're wondering, should I even start juice? Let me give you a few tips to help guide you along the way. Number one, whole fruit over juice is always going to be a good policy to have for your toddler's diet. So choose the apples or applesauce over apple juice. Choose clementines or uh, sliced oranges instead of orange juice. So you get what I'm talking about. Choose uh, green grapes over white grape juice. Whole fruit is going to give you the same nutrients plus the fiber and it's going to be more enjoyable and a chewing experience um, and it's going to um, teach your child to eat their calories rather than drink their calories. My second recommendation or second tip is do not give any juice to your toddler when they're going to bed. So no juice in the sippy cup, no juice in the bottle, uh, no glass of juice before bedtime, keep it to water. Or if you have a toddler or a young, uh, an older infant who's still taking a bottle, make sure it's milk, preferably feed that bottle before they actually lie down in bed and go to sleep. Um, again, milk can kind of do the same thing that fruit juice does, which is pool in the mouth and affect uh, the risk for cavities um, on the teeth. If you are purchasing fruit juice, try to get fruit juice that has the pulp. That extra fiber helps all kids be more regular with their bowel movements. 
Also, if you can find 100% fruit juice that is calcium fortified or vitamin D fortified, that's a bonus for your kiddo too. We know that calcium and vitamin D are under consumed nutrients in the toddler diet and in older children too. So any extra source of those nutrients is always a good idea for your child. And then last, if your child is gaining weight that appears to be excessive or unhealthy, or your child is not gaining weight properly on the growth chart, or your child is having diarrhea problems, look and check and see how much juice they are consuming. Too much juice can cause extra weight gain. Too much juice can cause lack of weight gain because the child is not eating solid food. And too much juice can cause diarrhea. So if those problems are sort of uh, getting in the way for your family or for your toddler, circle back and really look at how much juice your, your child is drinking each day because that might be an easy solution to uh, a problem that you might be having in this area. That's it for today's folks. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it, uh, comment and follow this channel. And as you're thinking about juice consumption for your child, go ahead and ask me questions below. But I'm curious, how much do you think your child is drinking juice each day? Let me know below. I'll see you next time. Thank you.